Now we've had a brief look at some of the conditions around how we can create uh, an intersection with civil site design using two road strings. This particular lesson is really a visual lesson, so we're not expecting you to necessarily follow along. This is very much a video intended to educate you on how road strings interact within the vertical sense, i.e. the vertical geometry. Now, we have already created the curb returns. We've also created half a road on this alignment here called existing road crown. The, there is no need for you to be concerned about how we've created those because you will be creating those in the following modules. So what we're going to do here is to open up the vertical grading editor for both the road one crown and the existing road crown. So I'm going to go to do that now. Just open up the vertical grading for road one and we're going to just move that off to one side. If you are following along and you are opening up the vertical grading editor, again, feel free to use multiple screens to park the vertical grading editor rather than try to necessarily force it all into the one screen. I'm also going to open up the vertical grading editor for the existing row crown. And again, if you can't see the particular alignment that you're after, you can always press enter or right click to produce it from a list and then click OK. So with these two sitting either side of each other, what I'm just going to do is to zoom in on the road one start here. What you'll hopefully notice immediately is that on both of the vertical grading editors, there is a red line. Now this red line indicates where two road strings are currently intersecting each other. This red line would not show any other time than where it does now. You can also see at the start of road one, we've also labeled up the intersecting road, which is existing road crown. And if I just move the vertical grading over to one side here, you can actually see the tracker in the background as I'm moving left and right. Just a note on that tracker, if at any point you find that that tracker doesn't appear within the CAD environment and you're finding that on multiple drawings, we recommend that you update your graphics drivers, not necessarily going through Microsoft um, because sometimes they aren't necessarily aware that your drivers aren't uh, outdated, maybe going directly to the supplier of your graphics card and downloading the drivers and that can be a good reason why that particular tracker doesn't appear. What we're going to do is see how these two intersecting road strings interact with each other. What I'm going to do is to use the following IP, which is very close to the intersection along the existing road crown, and move it up and down and see what happens to road one when we do this. So I'm going to go up to the ribbon, click on the move IP up and down button, left click near to the IP, move it up, and you can see, so the corresponding point we're looking at is this point here. This is the center line. As I move that up and down, you can see that the start of road one is also changing. Because we know that the two road strings are interacting as they should, we're now going to review the vertical curve that is being generated off the start of road one. So all I'm going to do is first of all, just place very roughly this IP by left clicking very close to the sampled surface. Let's close down existing road crown. And now let's have a look at the vertical design for road one.